Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve one numerical problem on three phase induction motors. By solving this problem we shall learn how to determine overall efficiency and sharp torque of a three phase induction motor using approximate equivalent circuit when circuit parameters are given. A 3 phase 440 volts 50 hertz delta connected 4 pole square phase induction motor runs at a speed of 1447 revolutions per minute when operating at rated load. The equivalent circuit has following purpose parameters referred to stator side R1 equals to 0 0.2 ohm. R2 dash equals to 0 0.4 ohm, X1 equals to X2 S dash equals to 2 ohm, RC equals to 200 ohm and XM equals to 40 ohm. The mechanical losses equal 1000 watts. Using approximate equivalent circuit, we have to determine for rated load input line current and its power factor, shaft power output, developed torque, shaft torque and overall efficiency. Let us first write down the given data. Number of poles of the machine P equals to 4 and supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Let us now calculate Synchronous speed NS equals to 120 F by P using values we get 120 into 50 divided by 4 that is equal to 1500 revolutions per minute. Given rotor speed NR equals to 1447 revolutions per minute. Now we shall determine slip. S equals to NS minus NR divided by NS using values we get 1500 minus 1447 divided by 1500 that is equal to 0 0.03533 per unit. Given for stator winding resistance per phase R1 equals to 0 0.2 ohm and leakage reactance per phase x1 equals to 2 ohm. Expression for stator impedance per phase z1 equals to r1 plus jx1 equals to 0 0.2 plus j times 2 ohm. For rotor winding resistance per phase referred to stator side r2 dash equals to 0 0.4 ohm. And standstill leakage reactance per phase X2S dash equals to 2 ohm. For any value of slip S, rotor impedance per phase referred to stator side Z2 dash equals to R2 dash by S plus JX2S dash. We have determined slip S equals to 0 0.035. 3, 3 per unit. Therefore, Z2 dash equals to 0 0.4 by 0 0.03533 plus J times 2 ohm. That gives us 11.3218 plus J times 2 ohm. Let us now determine equivalent impedance per phase referred to stator side. JDQ equals to Z1 plus Z2 dash. Using values we get 11.5218 plus J times 4 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 12.1964 ohm at an angle 19.1454 degree. Given line to line terminal voltage. VL equals to 440 volts. For delta connected induction motor, terminal voltage per phase 
ET equals to VN that is equal to 440 volts. We have determined equivalent impedance per phase referred to stator side. ZQ equals to 12.1964 ohm at an angle 19.1454 degree. Let us now calculate rotor current per phase referred to stator side. I2 dash equals to ET divided by ZQ taking terminal voltage per phase. ET as reference we get. I2 dash equals to 440 at an angle 0 degree divided by 12.1964 at an angle 19.1454 degree. That gives us 36.0762 ampere at an angle minus 19.1454 degree. For three phase induction motor, Total air gap power PG equals to 3 times I2 dash square into R2 dash by S. Given per phase rotor resistance referred to stator side R2 dash equals to 0 0.4 ohm. We have computed slip S equals to 0 0.03533 per unit. Therefore, PG equals to 3 into 36.0762 square into 0 0.4 by 0 0.03533, which is approximately equal to 44,205.8 watt. Expression for total mechanical power developed, PM equals to 1 minus S times PG. Using values we get 1 minus 0 0.03533 into 44,205.8 which is approximately equal to 42,644 watts. Total shaft power output PO equals to PM minus PR given mechanical losses. PR equals to 1000 watts. Therefore, PO equals to 42,644 minus 1000. That gives us 41,644 watts. Now we shall determine per phase working component of no load current. IW equals to ET divided by RC. Given per phase resistance representing coal losses, RC equals to 200 ohm. Therefore, IW equals to 440 divided by 200 that is equal to 2.2 ampere. Per phase magnetizing component of no load current, IM equals to ET divided by XM. Given per phase magnetizing reactance, XM equals to 40 ohm. Therefore, IM equals to 440 divided by 40 that is equal to 11 ampere. Expression for no load current per phase, I0 equals to IW minus J times IM that is equal to 2.2 minus J times 11 ampere. We have determined rotor current per phase referred to stator side I2 dash equals to 36.0762 ampere at an angle minus 19.1454 dd. This may be written in Cartesian form as 34.081 minus J times 11.8318 MPR. Applying Karshop's current law at node P we get input current per phase I1 equals to I0 plus I2 dash. Using values we get 36.281 minus J times 22.8318 MPR. 
This may be written in polar form as 42.8673 ampere at an angle minus 32.1824 degree. In polar form, we can write input current power phase I1 equals to I1 at an angle minus phi1 equals to 42.8673 ampere at an angle minus 32.1824 degree. For delta connected induction motor input line current IL equals to root 3 times I1. That is equal to root 3 into 42.8673 that gives us 74.2483 ampere. Let us now determine input power factor. Cos phi 1 equals to cos of 32.1824 degree. That is equal to 0 0.84636 lagging. For three phase induction motor, total input power P in equals to 3 times ET into I1 cos phi 1. Using values we get 3 into 440 into 42.8673 into 0 0.84636 which is approximately equal to 47,891 watts. Now we shall determine overall efficiency of the motor. Eta equals to PO divided by P in. We have obtained total shaft power output. PO equals to 41,644 watts. Therefore, Eta equals to 41,644 divided by 47,891 that is equal to 0 0.86956 per unit or 86.956 percent. We have determined total air gap power PG equals to 44,205.8 watt and synchronous speed NS equals to 1500 revolutions per minute. Expression for developed torque TD equals to PG divided by 2 pi into NS by 60. Using values we get 44205.8 divided by 2 pi into 1500 by 60 which is approximately equal to 281.4 Newton meter. We have obtained total shaft power output. PO equals to 41,644 watts. Given rotor speed NR equals to 1447 revolutions per minute. Expression for shaft torque. TSH equals to PO divided by 2 pi into NR by 60. Using values we get 41,644 divided by 2 pi into 1447 by 60, which is approximately equal to 274.8 Newton meter. So today we have solved one numerical problem on three phase induction motors. By solving this problem we have learnt how to determine overall efficiency and shaft torque of a three phase induction motor using its approximate equivalent circuit when circuit parameters are given. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question Please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.